today i have the honor i have the privilege of bringing you guys probably the worst rally in rise of kingdoms history what's going on guys cheers so today we're going to be taking a look at a rally combination that has maybe never really ever been used it's it's seriously it's the cursed combo it is the worst combo that i could probably think of in all of rise of kingdoms history now this content is brought to us by none other than snaps who is a relatively new and smaller rise of kingdoms youtuber and he's also just been super supportive of the content on this channel and the community and the charity fundraiser that we did a few weeks ago so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to his youtube channel the link will be down in the description below and if you have any questions for him about this specific rally you can probably find him in my discord so go ahead and join that if you haven't but enough stalling okay let's jump right into the content all right it says my alliance left me alone for a little too long so here we can take a look at the okay so so we've got the lu boo rally okay the the Lu Bu rally and his secondary oh baby his secondary is absolutely insane now you can see here he's VIP 15 which means he doesn't have the bonus damage from VIP 17 he is getting uh the three sculptures per day which is really nice so this is a city rally okay snaps is going to be rallying KC cat a 100 million power player in the Alliance surrender the booty what would you guys know about the booty okay what you guys anyway okay every you guys know I love cats so this is a this is a great profile picture but the point is okay we have a Lubu rally coming at a 100 million power player and the rally is being led by snaps who has 60 million power now we can see here that the rally is not even full okay the rally is not even full because people did not want to even entertain the idea of hitting this player even though it's all siege okay you can see 2.1 million siege units uh 000 of them coming directly from snaps with you guessed it his secondary is charlemagne yes a charlemagne secondary to a lu bu primary and an expertise lubu might i add and we're gonna get uh, we're gonna take a, a deeper dive into some of the specifics of this rally combination but without further ado let's let's go ahead and see what's going on here this ain't even full t5s okay this ain't even full t5s in in the in the rally here so this player is online you can see that there's plenty of you know support around this player right there's plenty of things going on here there's people online they could be hitting him with an actual rally but uh instead they're hitting him with an all siege lubu charlemagne rally from our boy snaps who does not have uh very good kvk tech i mean this is like it's just like the worst player for you to put your troops into like it's just it's just horrible if someone's leading a rally okay this is not what you want all right and obviously uh this this is not really a serious route they're not really expecting this uh to do that much damage to this 100 million power player but taking a look at the at the tech it's trash taking a look at the commanders it's trash okay only one of them is even expertise and obviously it's all siege so yeah we do see 2.5 million in the rally now so it looks like other people did uh come along they did join in and and decide that they wanted to be a part of this moment in history what is quite possibly okay one of the worst rallies in the entire game now let me just let me preface that by saying like do i know if this is statistically the worst i have no idea okay i really have no idea in terms of trades is this the worst ever trade that's ever been done on city rally probably not i mean like it's really hard to say right because you have so many brand new players who have no idea what they're doing rallying other people so like statistically is it the worst i don't know okay but it is definitely up there for just an absolute horrendous trade okay and you're gonna get to take a look at that in a second but my god does this army move slow it is absolutely pathetic <laughs> okay so here we are the uh the lubu is approaching and even like look even the allies here are question marking like what are you doing bro like what is this why lubu why charlemagne what is going what you, he's i mean he's a hundred million power they didn't even hit him with like multiple rallies to get him down first right like typically if you if you hit them with uh with, with a full siege rally it's after you've already zeroed them right um but but no we're coming in hot it's a fresh a brand new city they're online okay they know what's happening they know what's coming 
uh and and here it goes we're gonna just take a look at this lubu hitting an isun sin okay they have a war title on uh and you can see here that it's uh not going great we have theodora as a secondary and already we're in the yellow for the lubu charlemagne and i gotta say charlemagne has a really cool skill animation and i don't even remember the last time i saw a charlemagne animation like i th this might be one of the first times i've ever even seen the animation uh because like it's just he's never you look we're almost dead already we're almost dead already look at that look at that absolute trash instant fate changer instant fate changer for our boy with the lubu charlemagne okay one single rally with siege and the game's like oh yeah yeah they're all dead everything's dead you yeah, everything died everyone died the bat there's no one left alive the battle is over uh you've passed away and gg basically so we're gonna go in here and uh we're gonna just see we got uh, we got almost a hundred thousand dead troops uh right there from from a single rally for a single player okay and there it is ladies and gentlemen we have 7.9 million power loss on the lubu side and 1.5 million power loss on the uh, receiving end now look okay you might be saying omniarch this isn't actually a bad trade because you're trading siege for real troops okay like some of the troops that were severely wounded here are real troops and like sure like right like I, I i get that i understand that but like they didn't even kill a troop they didn't even get a single this player can just heal this down right and like again i get that like siege are basically disposable at this point i like i totally i understand that this is obviously a meme or whatever but like if even if you wanted to sacrifice your siege you just you have better options for hitting a city you just do okay i would rather them use like a caesar barca or something like that okay i just feel like there's just better options put a mehmed in there okay put a caesar mehmed or, or or something i don't know man but but hitting a city like you should be using mehmed at, at in some form or fashion even if it's all uh you know seeds that you're gonna be sacrificing you know what i'm saying so as you can imagine uh everyone was very impressed by how successful this rally was like what the actual fuck is that rally lol free kills for that guy right this kc cat just got a bunch of free kills like easy peasy and uh yeah lol nice trade absolute worst it's got to be one of the worst uh trades in in rise of kingdoms history there it is the re yeah just hit him with the re because like what else are you gonna do right like that's pretty much it there there's the walk of shame from the lubu so again we could take a look here the lubu is expertise okay he has actually gone in and fully expertise lubu okay look i i don't know i don't i mean we're in 2022 okay and we've got a we've got an expertise lubu for for real right um so there's that uh, and then if you guys were curious about the charlemagne okay we're missing a single skill we're missing a single my man has almost expertise charlemagne okay so if you guys are and this is just a side note if you guys are curious uh to take a look into this player's account like just to get a full overview of what's going on in this account okay make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video and comment down below let me know if you want me to to, to ask snaps for a, for a full account overview because like i mean like anyway he's close to expertise in charlemagne in case you were wondering he does also have the relic for charlemagne he has the relic for charlemagne as well he went through the effort of obtaining charlemagne's relic okay so this was almost the best lubu charlemagne rally that we could have seen there's one a couple big improvements obviously that that could be made of, of course obviously it's siege right but besides that besides the actual troop type here this is the breakdown of uh the troop buffs okay so the enemy did have a fully expertise yss theodora and we can actually see that here in this portion of, of the screenshot so fully expertise they also had two support skills i think this is belisarius and obviously alexander the great uh no support skills on on the lubu rally because he didn't have any right uh so another little bit of an opportunity there if, if you know if you're putting your troops into a rally you typically want to like make sure that the person that's rallying not only has max tech which he didn't but but also 
was like doing the bastions which he also didn't do um so pretty much everything that could have gone wrong for the lubu charlemagne went wrong and again obviously this was a meme rally so everyone was kind of like in on the joke right um but this is basically like how not to rally 101 pick the worst commanders don't have them fully expertise don't have support skills don't max your tech don't use good troops like hit hit a big power player that is way, way more power than you like everything that was wrong went wrong but i must say despite all that he still had more stats in pretty much every category except for defense and like he loses the defense trade by a ton right like i mean the, the defense difference here like 30 percent defense here like 60 percent defense difference here 30 percent difference here like it's a huge okay it's a huge difference we got 40 percent infantry defense difference and that's like the difference between positive and negative trades right is that you want to have more defense and more health than the than the enemy now of course he has more health here um, but we're not using any of these troops, right? We're using, we're using siege and the difference here isn't very much. So uh, all in all, right? The stats, I mean, it's mostly green, but the trade was trash and it's because all the other reasons that we'd listed before. And, and so you're looking at stats like that, right? And you're thinking like, okay, well, what gear was on that Lubu? Like what, 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 what was going on there? Okay. So let's take a look. We've got a, a talented revival helm. Okay. Which is, which is interesting. It's leadership talented for some reason, even though it's archer stats here so okay uh, just for a quick reminder this is the revival helm okay for you guys who are curious we've also got the milky way on the chest here so we've actually got a legendary chest on this lubu like what an absolute waste am i right but anyway uh archer health so we're seeing more archer stats here on this lubu which is great when the whole army is filled with um siege we've got some cav health gloves which is dope because of the because of the all siege am i right we've got even more cavalry health on the ash of the dawn which is very cool love the in, the infantry and cavalry health for the siege rally of course we have shio's return which I, I mean like obviously you would be using legendary infantry boots for the for the whole <clears throat> for the full siege rally he's also rocking heart of the saint um which none of that stuff is talented the only thing that's talented is the flag and the and the helmet um but yeah heart of the saint generally a really good weapon to have right i mean you're getting defense you're getting 10 percent health right especially if it's like if it's on a if it's on a lubu it's gonna be a mixed rally so like like 10 10 percent health 13 percent defense like that's that's good except none of these uh are siege stats so you know i like Finally, he's got the flag for the march speed and it's talented. So as slow as that Lubu was moving, okay, he actually had a march speed buff on the on the flag, the call of the loyal. And we also had a silent trial. So he was actually, in fact, reducing the rage of the target. Um, however, he died so quickly that I feel like he did not even reduce the skill cycle by one uh so yeah that's that's the equipment now here's the thing the harvester set is an all blue set uh and all of this gives siege stats so it would have been actually very cheap um to to get a, a to actually get a full set that would have been way better than the uh than the set that was used despite the set being having legendary pieces and all that right those are all good pieces but you could do the full harvester set um and then you could throw on the the scepter gives you a little bit more siege defense and then you also throw on the purple siege gloves where are they the claws of the forest guardian and that gives you another four percent so like there there's an opportunity even to actually have done better with this with an entire blue and a little bit of purple in the set um but but hey i mean it, you know my boy snaps rocking this instead which in general is a better set but I digress. Okay, taking a look at the talents here on the Lubu, we've definitely got some more opportunities. And again, I want to make this clear. This was like a meme rally. Okay, so as as I'm giving feedback on this rally, just understand that like it's not because Snaps is like an idiot or whatever. Okay, like he knows that this is like all just a, a big fat stupid joke. Okay, so we zoom in a little bit to get the to get that point distribution, and uh, we can see here you know all the way up to the top of the of the skill tree we've got two points in latent power um even though neither commander here has the additional skill damage which is awesome <laughs> went ahead and went out of his way actually to get the enhanced healing effects despite um neither commander 
having healing which is which is awesome only three points in close formation up here for some reason despite there being you know obvious <laughs> areas in which they you know the points could have been could have been moved but probably the most strikingly odd part is the zero points in the in the conquering tree here right there there was no there was no effort to put points into the tree that is used for conquering uh other players which was like what you know what that what they were what was happening in the in the rally so playing along with the meme i came up with a talent build for lubu that maybe you would use if you're going to rally a player with lubu and charlemagne perhaps this would be the talent build that i would use and and let me just say that i think lubu primary charlemagne secondary is the play because they have the same talent trees right but at least the defense reduction from lubu will be in effect when charlemagne's skill hits right so I, you know i do think that lubu primary is the way to go and this is what i would do okay so we came up here to strategic prowess gives us 20 percent defense for two seconds after using an active skill we've got hidden wrath over here which actually gives you six rage every time you're attacked so if someone you know swarms down the the lubu rally or whatever you're gonna be pass away but you know during that time at least you'll generate some more rage we increase the troop capacity here which is which is good we also get some more normal attack damage on the conquering tree we came all the way down here this actually increases all damage to strongholds uh by three percent and reduces the damage you take by them now this is one thing that I actually don't know because I don't rally cities is a city considered a stronghold and does this talent work because obviously the game distinguishes that there is a difference between the two so like this is a city and a flag is literally a stronghold so like I'm, I'm not entirely sure if entrenched actually works in city rallies so if it doesn't obviously you can skip this portion but regardless buckler shield reducing counterattack damage that you take is uh is good by nine percent moment of triumph this gives you extra damage above 90 percent which you could see that the lubu rally melted below 90 pretty much instantly but regardless we came up here to rejuvenate get the extra rage regeneration you got some extra rage regeneration over here that's what burning blood and also we have heraldic shield reducing skill damage taken all for one increasing the skill damage of the secondary commander by six percent tactical mastery increasing all active skill damage by three percent and naked rage increasing the skill damage that you deal uh but also increasing the skill damage that you take perhaps you would want to skip this because there's not that much skill damage to be increased regardless because the skill damage even though both commanders have it it's quite low um so you know maybe that's an opportunity there if entrenched doesn't work for city rallies and you're going to use a single troop type then maybe you could just ditch that and ditch the extra skill damage taken and then just put uh four points into name of the king and you'll also get close formation over here so you get some a bunch of extra attack up here i guess i don't know just don't do this rally it's just garbage just don't even worry about it anyway guys if you enjoyed the video okay if you found this rally entertaining and uh humorous it's a meme okay if you enjoyed it drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton helps me beat that youtube algorithm so other rides of kingdoms players might see this video also about 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so make sure you go down there and subscribe click the bell if you want to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and of course if you want to see a full account overview of snaps account go ahead and comment down below and let me know again join the discord if you want to talk to snaps and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace